right, so today we've got Julian here who is definitely sporting the Don King puppy fro. And we are going to be making him look a little bit more neatened up for the show ring as a puppy. But we're not going to take off all of his ear fuzz. We're just going to make it look a little bit more shaped. So he uh, can, you know, still look like a puppy, but just a little bit more uh, groomed, I guess is what I will say. So I've brushed out all of the ear hair. You've got to be careful. The ear hair underneath the ear is very fine hair, so it can get matted. So you want to take a comb to it every week and make sure you're getting all of your dog's ear hair brushed out so you don't have mats under the ear. So first I'm going to take my thinning shears. I think they're 32 teeth, I think uh, five and a half inch. And I'm just going to start to take off the stuff that's fly away on the top because I'm just going to get to where I have some shape of the ear. And Julian is being a very good puppy on the table. He's enjoying the attention. Then I will take off I'm gonna follow the ear. I'm gonna take the ear and follow the the bottom of the ear leather, the shape of the ear. You're helping. You're very cute helping. He's like, what are you doing to my ear? So now I can start to see that I have a shape to an ear. I know I'm taking off your puppy. You wanna Sometimes I show the scissors to the dogs because that helps them understand what I'm doing and smell them because they're not as curious, but he's very curious. So taking off just kind of the top parts, this extra following the shape up the line of the ear. I'm brushing it out as I go so I can see what I'm doing. I've got the peanut gallery in the background. So just taking off the top to shape it and then you want to come over here. So a lot of people have asked me what to do with the hair behind the ear this stuff kind of going onto the head. I take it up on the same line as the ear and just kind of give it some, the same shape as the head. I don't go, I'm not going deep into it. I'm really on the tips because I don't want to take a lot of it off. I'm just taking off the ends and neatening up and then I'll go further when I need to. Good boy. Good boy, Julian. And I'll stop and give the puppy a treat for doing such a good job. Good boy. Go back to my line because he's got a lot of hair. He's got a lot of fuzz that we're going to be working and getting off. Good boy, dude. Good boy. Good boy, dude. All right. So, see, he's now wanting to play with the brush. That's cute, buddy. He's not a toy. You can definitely tell he's a puppy. He wants to chew on everything. So, again, just kind of taking the tops of stuff off. Good boy. So and then I brush it again. So you can already see some shape coming and then anything that's kind of poking out, like this hair that's poking out here, I'll pick up the ear and pull a line up to the ear flap of the stuff underneath the ear. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Oh. Well, I've got everybody's attention now. So we've got extra hair. I'm just gonna kind of round my scissors on the top of it and take off the extra hair, go up the ear. I'm not going deep on the hair because I don't want to take out, I don't want to divot, I don't want to hole on the head because sometimes you can get this stuff too deep and then you have an ear that has nothing on the top and you've got an ear. So you really want to make sure this stuff is the same length as the ear. So you're kind of cutting it at the same. Hey! Got lots of discussion going on behind us. Good boy, Julian. Good boy. So you can start, kind of see some of this, the shaping, taking shape, I guess. Happy. I love that he's wagging his tail the whole time. Good boy. He's looking at his hair going away. <laughs> what are you doing? You're taking my ear hair. All right, so I'm gonna neaten up the ear flap. Juju, come here, Juju. See, he still has his puppy fuzz. It's just a little bit more straight. Still has the ear hair on the 
top of his head. So I'll come back here and I'll look at it. Good boy. So he still has this fuzz on the top of his head. I might take a little bit off to round it with the head. Stop. Good boy. Good boy. Toothbrush. Yeah, good boy. So I can take off a little bit. I've got some stragglers. Come on up here, I'll show the stragglers on the ear that aren't straight. So I'll take those off. Julian, good boy. So now he has a bit of a neatened up ear. Stop. But I didn't take all the fuzz off the top. Good boy. So he still has some ear fuzz up here, goes into the ear. Got the peanut gallery. All right, so you can tell that this one's more shaped now. He doesn't have the fro that's behind it. And there's still a piece of hair I want to take out on the ear flap. Stay, Julian. I know, this is the detail work. Can't move. Good boy. All right. So there we got a neatened ear hair on a six month old puppy. Just took off a little bit of the top. So he's got quite a bit. So it's just more shaping and getting in there and doing it right. Julian, good boy. All right, happy grooming. Thank you. <laughs>